important to pick. Mira. No, 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 no. Otherwise, you keep thinking the tower. Keep Shadow Fiend, not level 5, and he'll be okay. eternally grateful. Top lane, bit of Action. a fight going out. Looks like Magicka may go down into Self Nightmare. Looking for the deny. He's gonna get the deny. S4, this may be your first blood. Mirana manning up, gets hexed up. Who's going down first? The Impale comes in. First blood. Kuro. S4 has a salve and Tango now. He doesn't even have to go back to base. Shadow Fiend roaming. And I think it's gonna work. That's the funny thing here. No points in Gush. One raise. Is there another raise? He's got the long one. Nikwa still alive on 20 HP. He goes down to the roaming Shadow Fiend. Okay. <laughs> I've seen it all now. Top lane. Mirana gets a kill to start things off on the line. And they want S4 as well with the Wisp rotation. It looks like it will be two kills. Going with Alliance. It's double for Pika. Nice rotation by Arke. Okay, so Misty's oh, like a build from mid lane. Loda kind of being deep here. The Wisp is sitting behind, doesn't have level 6, no relocate out. There's your black hole, S4 gonna just throw the split to help secure this kill. I think they'll just take the one kill, but ideally they're gonna fish for more. Magicka off to the side. Not gonna be an easy kill, has a brain sap in 3 seconds here. Kuro making his move in, has finger of death online and just gonna need an impale. So a 2 kill, or 2 hero kill pickup in the mid lane for secret, but they lose the top tier 1 tower. That's your Mirana claiming that one, and finger. What's Used happening? on the Bat Rider, Lion's still alive and he's gonna get healed up by the Wisp if he needs it. That's a f long cooldown on that Finger of Death now. Some... was an interesting... So may I don't think he can leap over the cliff. Gonna be a really it to the north, hits off. it, and... No, no really yet. Leap, Star Storm, Zai in trouble. Brain Sap will finish him off. Nice kill coming out by Alliance, and now they've still got a smoked up Bat Rider. He's fishing for more. Does he see Kuro? Blink, Lasso catches out your Lion! There's a Fiend's Grip if they need it, don't think they will. Uh, Pika comes in, there's your mech, I don't think that's coming up, there's an arrow and another kill goes away of Alliance. Good conservative play using their spells, they've still got the Fiend's Grip, they still didn't even have to use a Star Storm from Pika. That's also secure the mid T1 tower. Do you think, I think Pika's probably going, the bat needs to heal, he can't be there. Puppy needs to drop this Sentry Ward. This Moonlight Shadow is coming in soon. He's gonna leave with an arrow. Should get spotted, but Arteezy does not dodge it. Can they get in here in time? Puppy doesn't get the resummon on the idol. They haven't got the damage. It's four hero in Avalanche. Toss. Kuro. Low. They get off the Requiem of Souls. Low. They're gonna go down to the finger here. And they've still got the Ravage to fight this one. High Cat on the high ground. Doesn't get hit by the Ravage. He may throw some arrows from the north. Goes in on Puppy. Stars from right click. Brings down the Enigma to start things off. Pounces up after Kuro. Kuro in trouble. One more right click. Pops the drum. Will get it. There's your tether across. Hits the slope. Primal Split now coming out. And it looks like a Lions. Gonna back off. They bolt back on their Bane. TP coming in from your tide. And Pie Cat throws the arrow. Arrow doesn't actually hit onto the Shadow Fiend, but there's a lasso and that will hit. We'll bring Arteezy onto the high ground, and Arteezy you're gonna be trapped up here. You can go for a TP, but that's not gonna work. Oh, okay. He goes up. down with three heroes dead, Team Secret in a lot of trouble here. S4's ulti is worn off, and he can't TP against the Flame Break. Doesn't even have the mana for it right now. Alliance just crushing Team Secret here in game two, at least so far, and Roshan not even secure. My gosh. What a, what a position. He actually goes in, he's gonna pull Tide onto the cliff, lock him in place, and have fun, Zai. TP out, flame break. He breaks the TP and keeps him on the cliff. That's a dead Tide. Meanwhile, on the south fight. Puppy looking maybe for a black hole here. They're gonna get the chain stun off. Arteezy goes down, the black hole's there, but only onto Loader. There's no damage for this one. Kuro! He's low on HP. Aki will finish him off the relocate back. Aki leaves the tiny there to stay fighting. And meanwhile, Puppy brought down. That's four dead. Brewmaster blinks backwards. That was your five man smoke around the Brewmaster blink, and they get massacred. Pycat chases onto the high ground. They want S4. All S4 is do, can do is just throw out a clap, and it doesn't look like he'll be able to save his own life. And Pycat. Oh, he missed. Iron Jesus. Kicks in and under I guess Secret will take any victory they can. They throw the arrow from Flame a No. Well, this is an Dyer's axe tiny breaking your high ground. They still, the have, mail. they still have Dyer's Requiem and Ravage. So, I might try and see something there. Dyer's see if Loda commits this one. It looks like they want to go in this melee barracks Dyer's with the overcharge. Barracks. He's hitting at a decent attack speed. Here we go. Blink Dyer's Ravage. They've got a Brewmaster clap. Aki's the target first and then they move on to Loda without the protection alliance. They've overextended. They'll give up a couple of big kills and Secret gonna hold on to their racks for now, although they've still got a big deficit to overcome. Those are big kills though. Those are really important. Nearby, is he gonna scout out another smoke gang? Smoke He's done broken. this before and oh it broke the line. No lion. detection. No detection. That's not dust. It oh, has to hit. 
They catch up. This is just your Bane. Not really the ideal target. They pull an Arteezy. Avalanche is there. What's that? Relocate? No! Ravage catches two. Black Hole is well. Going to catch up. Loader and Ake. Can they bring him down? The Wisp is dead. Loader gets fingered. Oh boy. Nico now on his own. Trying to run the hell out of there. Further to the south. It's a Bane caught out by the Primal Split. And it looks like Magka. We brought down. The Gush is there to slow him. Lock him down in place. And... A three for nothing. Good smoking from Secret. They'd love to get a Roshan off of this. We'll have to see if they can. This was a poor team fight from Radiant. We'll see if this fight goes as full as you think it oh, might be. S4. S4. Can they first him down before the split comes into play? The arrow is there. And uh oh. Down goes your Brewmaster. He's got to buy back and he may have to use it. We'll throw it out. The Requiem BKB from Arteezy. That's a dead wisp. And Loader now kind of trapped. He gets forced up to the low ground, but not Storm. sure that's going to be enough. He's coming back up and there's a black hole waiting for him. Are uh, they going to throw this one out? Loader turns, gets a toss on RTZ. The Avalanche is there. That's your buyback from your West. Ravage catches out too. Black Hole from Puppy. Just on the Loader. The Flame Breaks there. Nice West play from Nigma. Good positioning. Flick onto the high ground from Pyka. He's going to bring down your Puppy Enigma. And now the rest of the heroes trapped on the low ground. Pyka and BKB just going in on Zai. He wants the tie. He goes back to the high ground now with that full stuff. And he's going to go down in the end. That's going to be a dieback from S4. If he can't get out of this one, Flame Break will push him back. And now the Brain Snap right click damage. Pycat with an Ultra Kill. This Piranha just too damn found to fail. Yeah, Pycat did so much work that fight. They focused, <laughs> they focused on the Tiny and the Wisp. And Pycat just right clicked everyone down. I didn't think that fight was going to, I didn't think that fight was going to go well for them, but um, Ake's buyback on Wisp, he relocated in and then tethered up the Loda and then overcharged him during the black hole and um, they didn't really do any damage to him. And he actually ended up tanking like all of Team Secret's ultimates. One of those weird games where, well not weird, but an interesting way how things transi transition because Loda became more of just the front line. He never actually dealt huge amounts of damage in a fight, he just tanked most of the spells and let Pika do what he needed to do. Yeah, that was a nice team fight by there at the end from Alliance. I thought they needed Lotus BKB, but I was I was wrong. Really good game from Nico and back, but Pycat, game one he was like 15, 2 and 17. This game around 13, 1 and 7. He has played a hell of a series to take down Secret 2-0. Secret maybe not looking as untouchable as some people kind of thought as far as the European scene goes.